SDS page. Sodium dodecyl sulfate polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis is a technique widely used in biochemistry, forensics, genetics, and molecular biology to separate proteins according to their electrophoretic mobility, a function of the length of the polypeptide chain or molecular weight. SDS gel electrophoresis of samples that have identical charge per unit mass due to binding of SDS results in fractionation by size. The principle SDS is an anionic detergent which binds strongly to and denatures proteins. The number of SDS molecules bound to a polypeptide chain is approximately half the number of amino acid residues in that chain. The protein SDS complex carries a net negative charge hence moving towards the anode and separation is based on the size of the protein. Sodium dodecyl sulfate polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis Clean the plates and assemble them in the gel casting stand. Use 1.5 mm or 0.75 mm spacers. Mix either 40 ml or 80 ml of separating gel mixture in a 125 ml flask. Mix gently and pour the gel solution into the chamber between the glass plates. Layer distilled water on top of the gel and leave to set for 30 to 60 minutes. Remove the water from the top of the gel and wash with a little stacking gel solution. Pour the stacking gel mixture, place the comb in the stacking gel and allow it to set for 30 to 60 minutes. After the stacking gel has polymerized, Remove the comb without distorting the shapes of the wells. Take up the required volume of samples in a micro syringe and inject it carefully into the sample wells through the electrode buffers. Marking the position of the wells on the glass plate with a marker pen facilitates easy loading of samples. Turn on the current to 10 to 15 milliampers for an initial 10 to 15 minutes until the samples travel through the stacking gel. The stacking gel helps concentration of the samples. Then, continue the run at 30 mA until bromophenol blue reaches the bottom of the gel. However, the gel may be run at a high current of 60 to 70 amperes for a short period of 1 hour with proper cooling. After the run is complete, carefully remove the gel from between the plates and immerse in staining solution for at least 3 hours or overnight with uniform shaking. The proteins absorb the comassive brilliant blue. Transfer the gel to a suitable container with at least 200 to 300 ml of destaining solution and shake gently and continuously. Dye that is not bound to the proteins is thus removed. Change the destainer frequently, particularly during the initial periods. The proteins fractionated into the band are seen colored blue. As the proteins of minute quantities are stained faintly, destaining process should be stopped at appropriate stages to visualize as many bands as possible. The gel can now be photographed or stored in polythene bags.